But one of my favorite finds here in this booth, one of the best aspects of these pitchers is that they were often called glug lug jugs because when you would fill them up with water or any like a tea, when you would pour the liquid out to fill a tea cup or maybe a uh, taller glass, uh -huh. the design of the of the jug would make an actual glug glug sound. Oh, that's so cool. So um, they're really highly collectible today, especially in condition like this. So this dealer really knows um, her uh, Majolica and her collectibles. And this piece is probably around circa 1870. 1870, really? Yeah. That is fantastic condition. It is, it is. Really beautiful. So, um, this is a lot of work to find a piece like this that's been painted. Yeah. Are they normally not painted, the glug glug um, jugs? Nope, they're usually um, covered in uh, majolica paint. But the thing about glug glug jugs is that they are sub subjected to a lot of reproductions now. So you'll see a lot of reproductions coming out of China, um, sometimes out of Europe. The, um, the detailing isn't nearly as fine as you'll see on this one. You'll see this one has um, finely molded scales. Uh -huh. The uh, paint is blended very carefully. And you'll see some fine cracular on the uh, paint, which is indicative of the age. So a lot of them are not um, signed and that's okay. But if you buy from a knowledgeable dealer, they can, uh, they can uh, back it up and verify the age and originality.